For many years, Rayner, one of the world's leading ophthalmic companies, has helped restore sight to millions of people. Indeed, the very name Rayner has become synonymous with quality and excellence. As manufacturer of the world's first intraocular lens and the only British company manufacturing IOLs, Rayner continues to create innovative and unique lens designs at their state-of-the-art manufacturing facility in Hove, East Sussex, England. Rayner is proud to present the T-Flex range of toric intraocular lenses for the correction of corneal astigmatism in cataract or refractive surgery. T-Flex toric IOLs are single-piece hydrophilic acrylic UV injectable toric intraocular lenses, which are presented in an easy-to-use system pack consisting of one T-Flex toric IOL, one single-use soft-tipped injector, and a pre-taped post-operative eye shield. T-Flex Toric IOLs are superior to Toric IOLs with a restricted range of torus and offer a more reliable and precise alternative to incisional keratotomy or limbal relaxing incisions for the correction of pre-existing corneal astigmatism and are particularly useful for those patients where such incisional methods would provide an inadequate astigmatic correction. The choice of a T-Flex Toric IOL leads to outstanding surgical results, especially for cases of severe astigmatism. Patients with a history of corneal pathology or keratoconus with penetrating keratoplasty and for patients with corneal burns or scarring. T-Flex Toric IOLs are available in a far greater range of sphere cylinder combinations than some other Toric IOLs, which are manufactured with a limited range of cylinders. Such toric IOLs are designed solely for those patients with a small, regular, pre-existing corneal astigmatism. T-Flex toric IOLs correct much higher levels of astigmatism. This video demonstrates the many advantages of Rayner T-Flex toric IOLs, which greatly benefit both patient and ophthalmologist. It also offers useful advice on preoperative patient assessment measurement of the operative eye prior to surgery, and advice on the intraoperative procedure. Unlike the inherently unstable plate haptic and multi-piece toric IOL designs, T-Flex toric IOLs, which are based on the original Rayner Centerflex IOL platform, are characterized by a superb stability in the capsular bag. Coupled with exact centration, zero anterior-posterior vaulting, and exceptional torsional and rotational stability. The toric performance of T-Flex toric IOLs is unmatched. Studies carried out under the direction of Professor Gerd Aufarth at the University Eye Hospital in Heidelberg, Germany, clearly demonstrated the unique stability and dependable absence of rotation in the capsular bag of the Rayner design. Within a 12-month clinical follow-up period, mean IOL rotation was only 3 degrees and mean decentration was only 0.3 millimeters. The unique stability of T-Flex toric IOLs is achieved by the use of patented AVH or anti-vaulting haptic technology, resulting in a controlled and progressive haptic compression in response to the contraction of the capsular bag. AVH technology is characterized by an accurate, predictable and sustainable refractive or visual outcome for the patient. The fenestration within each of the two haptic bodies effectively creates an outer and inner haptic. And at 10.5 millimeters, the outer haptics begin to take up the compression forces being generated within the eye due to post-operative capsular bag contraction. The progressive and initially linear resistance to these contraction forces ensures exact centration of the lens within the capsular bag. At approximately 10 millimeters, the outer haptics begin to engage the inner haptics, creating new bending fulcra. This altered haptic configuration assumes less flexibility, and with further capsular contraction, the increased compression forces are absorbed, while still maintaining perfect centration. At approximately 9.5 millimeters, the haptic tips gently meet the optic and are effectively locked into position. The IOL assumes an oval configuration, enabling it to withstand excessive or even asymmetrical capsular contraction, while still maintaining perfect centration and stability. T-Flex toric IOLs are also associated with very low rates of posterior capsular opacification, or PCO, and this is directly attributable to the Amon Apple Enhanced Square Edge, another Rayner innovation. 
With T-Flex, the Amon Apple Enhanced Square Edge is applied to the posterior surface of the lens with the torus being implemented on the anterior surface. Many traditional single-piece injectable IOL designs have a square-edged optic to reduce PCO, but the square edge may be absent at the optic-haptic junctions. This design flaw, an Achilles heel, can make the IOL optic vulnerable to migrating lenticular epithelial cells, or LECs, which can lead to PCO. T-Flex Toric IOLs are the only Toric IOLs to offer Amon Apple Enhanced Square Edge, presenting a virtually impenetrable barrier to any migrating LECs. Furthermore, Rayner's unique design ensures a secure IOL posterior capsular contact without the need for haptic angulation, a feature which also contributes to the stability of the lens. This photograph, taken by the Miyake Apple Posterior View Technique, clearly shows the barrier effect of the Amon Apple Enhanced Square Edge at the vulnerable optic-haptic junctions. A further demonstration of the effectiveness of the Amon Apple Enhanced Square Edge is shown here in a series of photographs of an eye implanted with the Rayner C-Flex IOL at 6 months, 10 months, 18 months, and even at 24 months after surgery and beyond, the Amon Apple Enhanced Square Edge continues to act as a complete barrier to the centripetal migration of LECs, and the posterior capsule remains clear. Here is a further slit lamp photograph of another eye implanted with C-Flex taken at 24 months. Again, perfect centration and a clear capsule can be observed. T-Flex Toric IOLs are manufactured from Rayacryl, a hydrophilic acrylic copolymer of 2-hydroxyethylmethacrylate, hema, and methylmethacrylate, with a benzophenone UV blocker, and an optimum water content of 26%. Rayacryl exhibits excellent uveal and capsular biocompatibility, resulting in a minimum stimulation of cellular proliferation and inflammatory response. With a relatively low refractive index of 1.46, coupled with superb optical clarity and absence of glistenings, specks or vacuoles, Rayacryl is also associated with excellent clinical outcomes. Studies also show that Rayacryl's high biocompatibility, in combination with the Amon Apple Enhanced Square Edge, presents the optimum conditions for low rates of posterior capsular opacification. Furthermore, Unlike some hydrophobic acrylic IOLs, T-Flex does not rely on bioadhesiveness for low PCO. With silicon and with hydrophobic acrylic IOLs, silicon oil-induced opacification during VR surgery can be a major problem. However, this is not the case with T-Flex. As Rayacryl has a well-documented low affinity for silicon oil, silicon oil-induced opacification with any Rayner IOL is not a complication an invaluable benefit for patients having a coexisting or a predisposition to vitreoretinal disease. For accurate IOL calculation, contact lenses should not be worn two weeks prior to measurements. Besides subjective refraction, a corneal topography examination can help better define the type of astigmatism and corneal dioptric power. IOL calculation is based mainly on biometry measurements. Using an IOL master, five consecutive axial lengths as well as three keratometry measurements are recommended, followed by anterior chamber depth evaluation. After entering all required data into the toric order form, then for all UK and Ireland ophthalmologists, the form is sent direct to Rayner. For all other countries, the form is sent to Rayner's local distributor. After calculation of the IOL power by Rayner, details of power options with corresponding target refractions are given. After selection of the appropriate option, the toric order form, signed by the surgeon, is returned to Rayner or the distributor, accompanied by the official order. Please note that the torus is given as plus cylinder and the axis marks indicate the IOL's lowest power meridian. T-Flex Toric IOLs are currently manufactured as either model 573T or model 623T having a 5.75mm optic or a 6.25mm optic respectively. The model selection is made automatically by Rayner, 
so that the largest possible optic diameter is supplied for any particular sphere-cylinder-injector-nozzle combination. Model 623T, having the larger optic diameter, is designed for low to medium power lenses, and Model 573T with the smaller optic diameter is designed for higher powers. Pre-operative patient preparation includes the marking of the axis while the patient is still awake, sitting, and fixating at a distance target. First, the horizontal is marked at 0 degrees and 180 degrees. This is followed by determination of the 12 o'clock or 90 degree position. Instruments like this horizontal axis marker are helpful tools to mark the zero degree axis more precisely. In case of fading or paling of the color marking on the corneal axes, it might be necessary to redraw the former marks. In this procedure, the IOL is intended for implantation at 110 degrees, which represents the meridian, or axis, of the cornea's highest power. Following implantation, the lens will subsequently be rotated so that the axis marks on the IOL will align exactly at 110 degrees. Incisions should not induce additional astigmatism. After capsular rexis, hydrodissection, phacoemulsification, aspiration, irrigation. The capsular bag is filled with an ophthalmic viscosurgical device and the clear corneal incision is enlarged. After implantation, the IOL is rotated until the accurate position has been achieved. Careful axis control is advisable. After removal of the viscoelastic, another position control should be performed, followed by wound closure. When performing cataract surgery, different incision techniques allow astigmatism correction up to two or three diopters. Higher astigmatism can be reduced by implanting toric intraocular lenses, which are individually calculated and manufactured. T-Flex toric IOLs are easily implanted, either by manual folding or by using the Rayner single-use soft-tipped injector, which has been designed for the safe and effective implantation of T-Flex toric IOLs, and indeed of all Rayner injectable IOLs. IOL implantation is both easy and controlled. The soft blue plunger tip, which is manufactured from a thermoplastic elastomer and is molecularly bonded to the plunger shaft, completely fills the lumen of the nozzle, providing a soft protective interface with the lens. Loading is facilitated by the loading bay having an extended lip. The round cross-sectioned nozzle has a parallel-sided distal tip to suit individual surgical technique and implantation is by a single-handed, continuous, smooth movement without the need to retract the plunger during injection. The lens is loaded in a reverse S configuration to ensure correct orientation as it leaves the injector nozzle and enters the capsular bag. During implantation, it is important to ensure that the anterior surface of the lens is uppermost and that the posterior surface of the lens, which is equipped with the Amon Apple Enhanced Square Edge, is in contact with the posterior capsule. 
Clinical studies with the original Rayner 571T Toric IOL, the forerunner to TFLAX Toric IOLs, were performed involving 27 eyes of 18 cataract, refractive or keratoplasty patients. Torus values range from 2 to 11 diopters. One to three months postoperatively, the mean spherical equivalent was minus 0.1 diopters. 82% of eyes achieved a difference between target and postoperative refraction within plus or minus one diopter. Careful IOL calculation, axis marking, and IOL positioning are important for successful and predictable refractive outcomes. However, TFLAX toric IOLs are easy to implant using the Rayner single-use soft-tipped injector, and the Amon Apple Enhanced Square Edge, coupled with the high biocompatibility of Rayacryl, ensures low rates of PCO. Furthermore, the unique stability of TFLAX toric IOLs and a dependable absence of rotation in the capsular bag leads to excellent clinical results for those patients with pre-existing corneal astigmatism undergoing cataract or refractive lens surgery. Rayner is committed to the constant development of new technologies and product innovations and continuously endeavors to meet customers' needs and wants. Furthermore, Rayner's continuous research and development into the key areas of materials technology and lens insertion methodology will ensure that the company will remain at the leading edge for many more years to come. Great British products, renewing sight for millions of people.